All right, if you've watched my glossy box unboxing the other day, then there were some products in there that I was gonna wait until the 16th to actually show you on a video of trying on, but I decided, nah, we're gonna upload it today. So, we're gonna try out the Figs and Rouge Soft Focus Pore Perfect HD Matte Veil Primer. And it says it's a high definition pore perfecting soft focus veil. Weightless matte serum helps minimize the appearance of pores and create a sheer complexion. Dual action anti blemish formulation helps reduce skin impurities and combat breakouts. It diminishes shine and delivers a microfine soft focus effect, which we all need. Well, most of us. If you got perfect skin, you need. You don't need it. Um, Long-lasting pore correction helps fade imperfections and promote a clearer bounce complexion. So we're going to give that a try. This is the final result. Not how I do my videos. And I had a subscriber tell me I need to give this concealer a try. It's a BH Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer. And it's in 102. And also, we're going to give the Cover FX Crown Parfait Perfect Pencil an in light. Never had one of these. That's pretty neat. That's pretty cool. And I will use that underneath my brow line. Or brow bone. Yeah. As for anything else, I did already wash my face this morning with the old Hendrix Truth Clean, Clean Truth Booming Cleanser. I uh, used the mask, Ginger and Termic Vitamin C Jelly Mask by First Aid Beauty. On my forehead wrinkles, I didn't do it under my eyes. I just did it up here. It's perfect, picture perfect lashum instant wrinkle reducer. Still testing that out so I can see how that works. Um, as for serum, I'm using the Lancome Antioxidant Serum. And having to grab all this stuff again. The Belief Believe in Truth True Cream Aqua Balm for Moisturizer. And the Clinique Pep Star Eye Cream since I didn't use the lash I'm under my eyes because I'm trying on a new concealer. So I want to see how that sets regularly this way there is no compromising the product and of course anything that was in a foil packets in here so Serum primer soft focus figs and rouge thing that was awesome. It dried down pretty nicely, pretty quickly. It wasn't tacky in any way, like on the back of my hand, you know, wasn't really tacky. And things are kind of blurred like fine lines and everything else is just kind of blurred. So I'm gonna continue using this. This might be a good thing. This might be better than my Smashbox. We'll see how it works for today and then like I said I'll continue using it later on uh, as for the BH studio pro concealer for right now it's not sitting in any lines it's not emphasizing any of the lines that I have under my eyes it is kind of it's not quite but it is thick like the tart shape tape but it's not drying like there's some moisture there we'll see how this works by the end of the day too. Um, I did use a, my Physician Formula CC cream because I know how that works. So sitting on top of that primer and that being first time try, 
I'll have a better understanding. Um, I did enjoy this Cover FX pencil. I've never done this where I've actually cleaned up underneath my eyebrows, which is probably what I should start doing until they start fully growing in. Probably should still do it then. But uh, as you've seen, it, it went on there pretty nicely. And I mean, I use just a little eyeshadow brush thing right here. I don't know what that is. Everybody uses something different. But it blended nicely, and yeah, there's a little bit of a stark white line there, but it won't be there for much longer once I get the eyeshadow on, so. Yay! I did powder my face. And with my Revlon translucent color stuff, um, now we're going to try out. This didn't come from my Ulta or Sephora or Glossy Box. It could have came it came from Glossy Box a long time ago, sometime last year, I believe. And it's the Duse Blush. It comes in like this. And you had like two months where one month they already sent you the blush. The next month you kind of got to choose which color they had that you can get in there. And it's one of those dual magnetic ones. And we're going to try that out. Um, I'm not quite sure which one I'll, I'm trying out, but you'll see in the video soon. And of course I'm going to bronze up my face with some chocolate sulit. Soleil from Too Faced and highlight with uh, my Becca bronzer or highlight. Yeah. All right, with the blush, I decided to go with the lighter shade. I'd swatched them out here and kind of blend them out, and the other shade came out a lot more orangey, like a burnt orange color so you know I was gonna go for that pink but that means later on I might try that probably won't need a bronzer or anything so yeah, it's gonna be burnt orange on my face uh, let's see now I will be trying out for my eyes the item I got in my glossy box which is the De Bureau Deep your Nah. It's in Bubble Oil 7. Looks like that. It's supposed to be a khaki color, but it looks looks weird. <laughs> but we're gonna give it a try. And as always, I never have an eyeshadow or an eye look already picked out, so yeah. And we're gonna try. I got a color pop from Ulta. I think it was Ulta. I believe so. But it's the Super Shock Shadow Ultra Glitter. And it's 18B1. It's I can't do what the name of it is. Is it? Stereo. Looks like might look like take that off. Looks like that. It's supposed to be a black purple with pink and gold glitter. So, uh, yeah. That's going on my eyes today, too. Don't know what kind of mess I'm going to make here. And I also got, I've been wanting to try this, and I was able to get a sample of it, but it's the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. And if you've never seen the wand of these, I don't know where you've been. You must have been under the same rock I've been under. But the container is beautiful. And the wand looks like that. And we will be lining our eyes with a very, very bold color. And it's from... Celevi Pencil Eyeliner. It's in Wine. Not sure if I can get the name to pop up there. Probably not. It'll be down in the descriptions, but it's this color. So, I don't know what kind of mess I'm going to make on my eyes, but we will find out real quick.
there's going to be some of this video ends up getting cut out because I don't show you products I've already used or anything like that. This way you have a better idea. I will kind of tell you that I used my Coastal Sense Revealed Palette 2 and I use this color all over my eyelid. Use this above my crease, in my crease, and this was on my brow bone. Love that palette. Since I was trying out other eyeshadows, I figured I should use that as just basically my base. Um, the ColourPop was pain in the butt. Uh, I watched so many videos where the beauty gurus were putting it on perfectly. They didn't show the frustration of how this product can be frustrating. And that's what I'm showing you today. I get to play with this a little bit more. It's really not actually a color for me. I wish I would have got a different color, but the colors, it looked really pretty like that, but that with the light shining on it looks really, really pretty. It doesn't look like that on your eyelids. Um, it does have like a little creamy texture thing. I've never had one of these before, so this is a little first for me. And let's see. Uh, where's it at? Oh, I didn't get it out. So I'm redoing this part. Um, the De Bure crown. Uh, I tried to do that on half of my eye and it just, this color's not for me. I have other crown eyeshadows in there that I'll, I'm going to play with, but I ended up putting this in the corners of my eyes and really it didn't do a whole lot. So I'm thinking it's just the color. I'm hoping it's just the color and not the formula. I don't have any other products by this brand, so I can't really say it is the formula because I don't know. The eyeliner pencil is a little bit out of my normal range of things I do and it is a little little reddish and I don't know if you can see it but it went on a lot softer than it does on your hand on your hand it kind of feels a little tough like it's pulling but on your eyes it's not too bad so that brand is actually pretty good I just probably should have a different color let's see the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara, I'm actually pretty excited about using it. I, I'm happy with using it. I only curled one eyelash just to see the difference if anything does change. And it looks like basically the same. <laughs> um, it is a very wet formula, but... It's not too bad. I want to keep giving it a try because it wasn't that bad at all. Really, for me, it wasn't. I didn't get it everywhere, so that is always a plus. I did set my face and everything with my elf. I didn't go back to the Max Fix by Maybelline because I'm not sure if it was the stuff that the the tinted cream or this or maybe my moisturizer the aqua balm stuff made my face kind of greasy and really shiny so I'm trying to figure all this out and this is already on my lips because I've already recorded this is the Sephora hashtag lip stories and desert trip the packaging is really cute and I've seen other people having this and I was like ooh, I want it and don't have no smell to it and it's more of a purple red than the wine color that's on my <laughs> waterline it's very creamy and it doesn't transfer everywhere and actually makes my teeth look extremely white so we're gonna leave it at that all right that is all I have for you guys right now all right it's been over nine hours and yeah, it was only supposed to be eight. I know. Um, but the Figs and Brews Soft Focus Pore Perfect Primer stuff is not bad at all. But I don't have extremely large pores, so I don't know how this would work on somebody with more pores. But with my extremely oily skin and 
well actually combination skin for right now it doesn't seem to make it really really oily and it don't dry it out so I mean to me that's pretty awesome I need to finish getting through the rest of my foundations before I can move on to another primer because I want to know how the foundation works before messing with something else and trying to figure out what's it the foundation what's it the primer you know uh, the BH Studios Pro Total Coverage Concealer, this wasn't bad either. I was scared because it was thick and I didn't really like the Tarte Shape Tape. It dried it out, but this actually has like a little bit of moisturizing in it, so it doesn't dry it out, but it does do a decent coverage. And I, I really like this because I've never had something like this and I've never really cared to have anything like it but you know play with all these products I'm like ooh, I want this I want that I've already made a list Instacover FX perfect pencil crown this thing was cool I mean yeah I only used it to go up underneath my eyebrow but I I seen where it made a difference and everybody else is probably like we've been doing things like that for years well I'm a newbie there's other newbies on YouTube they're still learning too the blush from Dos, Duce, Dos, whatever, you know, that company right there. The pink wasn't bad, but I will give it a try and try. This one looks like burnt orange. It don't look like it in the camera, but that's what it looks like when you rub it out on your hand. Okay, that didn't sound right either. Sorry. <laughs> Excuse that. The eyeliner. The eyeliner still holding on strong I mean well it's about 90% strong but I put that on like over nine hours ago and it's still like there so this company right here at least this one right here is awesome and if you're interested look down in below in the description it's C Levy Leva Levy something like that it'll say I eyeliner on it the color pop honestly um maybe if I had a different color maybe I'd be impressed and I so badly wanted to be impressed with this but I just it was too complicated and like I said watching all the other beauty gurus like put it on and they make it look flawless like that mm -mm. for girls like me and some of you out there that is a work in progress and the color of it really isn't my thing. It's, I like more of a pop of flare on my eyelids. That really didn't do it. And that was my fault when choosing that color, but you know. Urban Decay uh, Mascara, I'm, I'm in love with it. I actually really love this. I'm going to continue using that. There's, there was no fallout, you know. Whether I curl my eyelashes or not, they both look the same. Oh, this thing, the debuter. It'll be down there. It'll say crown, eyeshadow, pencil, something like that. This was a horrible color for me. And even putting it right there in the corner of my eye, it still didn't work out very well. And it's just, it, it's got to go. It's not for me. And this lipstick, when it does wear down, it does wear down in right here. It did not make it through three pieces of pizza. <laughs> well, <laughs> it did, you know, come down, but I mean, look at that. I haven't reapplied it yet, and there's no marks on the back of my hand, except for the cat scratch mark, but I'm going to keep playing with this. That's, it was pretty color, and one bad formula. But that is all I have for you guys today, and hopefully I, this is not going to be a 30 minute long video, and I will see you guys all tomorrow.